How's everybody doing? <laughs> That's good. So I'm sure most of us in this room have heard the popular phrase, a picture says a thousand words, but yet, what are we saying? I grew up seeing images of beautiful women, intelligent women, women that were smart, and women who got the job, women who got the guy, women who fulfilled all of their dreams, and yet none of those women looked like me or had a body like mine. The world around me was showing me thousands of images a day, each worth a thousand words. There's over a million words telling me what beauty is and that I was not it. It wasn't until my last semester of college did I realize three things. The first is that I wanted to be a painter, better late than never. <laughs> the second thing was that beauty was too vast, too magnificent to only be described as skinny, blonde, blue eyed, long haired, petite, coordinated, you know, all the things that I was not. And the third thing that I realized was that I had something to say about black female bodies beauty, and how we interact with the world. I had a story to tell, mine. You see, like so many women in my family, I was always losing 10 pounds. When, when I was 130, y'all can relate. <laughs> At 135, I was losing 10 pounds. At 145, I was losing 10 pounds. At 160, I was losing 10 pounds. And it wasn't until I reached my heaviest that I even began to question why I needed to lose 10 pounds at all. <laughs> Who told me that my weight was wrong? Who told me and where did I learn that I was imperfect the way I was? So it began trying to reach inward, trying to find, find and pinpoint moments in my life that I was taught and learned that I was not desirable aesthetically. And then I realized I wasn't told verbally I was shown through imagery. You see, we live in this society of images, Instagram, Facebook, TV, magazines, advertisements. You see, I was shown what beauty was supposed to look like. And as a result, I struggled with body image issues as a young girl all the way up through adulthood, not knowing how to love my body because I wasn't shown how. A picture says a thousand words, right? So now what am I going to say? So let's go back to my last semester in college where I decided to seriously pursue painting. I decided then to look deeply and, and try to um, understand images, pictures, and paintings, and how they contribute to how we feel about the world and how we feel about ourselves. We communicate ideas and ideologies all through the sharing and creation of images. I like to think of this process as planting seeds. Planting seeds of thought. These seeds then grow into conversations that promote growth and even healing, but it all begins with a single thought. So I decided then to plant my own seeds. I decided then to plant my own seeds to, that um, can elaborate on the conversations about black female bodies, roles, stretch marks, curves. I decided then and still do paint about women who carry the weight of never being shown their beauty, but having to discover it for themselves. Women who are still exploring their bodies all while debating whose opinion of their exterior is more important, the world's or their own. I choose to create paintings that depict black women as strong, elegant, graceful, powerful, sensitive, evolving, full-figured, and beautiful. And I choose to make work that will hopefully lead to a visual conversation between the viewer and the woman looking back. And whether the viewer knows it or not, a seed has still been planted. And I could consider myself a successful artist. If I could just get one person, just one, to think, to even begin to think, about the evolution of beauty and self that I'm trying to convey in my work. So today, we live in this society of images. We define our past, our present, our future, all through images that we manage from the palms of our hands. I am choosing to say something about 
a black female body, then trying to contribute to the conversation about what we consider to be beautiful, strong, desirable, and what we do not. Now, I do acknowledge that American society is beginning to be more inclusive with the types of images that we promote. So let's take it one step further. I challenge us to have those conversations that are then presented when we see a full-figured black woman on the cover of magazines, or the love interest of a TV show, or even in a painting hanging in the gallery. I challenge you. I challenge you to then think deeply about images and the types of images you create and promote. What do they mean? Who are they impacting? Let's understand imagery, the power of it. Let's understand the power of imagery and use imagery to empower, to grow, to heal as a community. I challenge you to plant seeds, knowing that every day, a little girl somewhere is being told by the imagery that we all put out how to feel about herself. A picture says a thousand words, right? So what are you going to say? Thank you.